Hey, this is Isar with UX in Motion, and I'm going to show you how to create a video upload for Dribble. Okay, so why is this cool? Well, in the last couple months, and if you're watching this thousands of years from now, you'll be like, dude, that was thousands of years ago. But in the last couple months, uh, Dribble changed a massive feature which lets you now upload video directly to Dribble, which is amazing. So let's take a look at that because uh, you'll need to know a couple conversion things to make it work. So first off, let's check out the uh, page here. And what you have is uh, basically a blog post and I'll include this link in the description. Here's the deal. So you have to keep it uh, short. You have to keep it under 24 seconds and under 10 megs. And it, what's cool is it does support audio too. So you could do that. It has to be MP4 or it will not work. So I'm going to show you the fastest way to do this and really just get it done quickly. Um, the other ways to do this, so I'll be using QuickTime. If this doesn't work for you, the other two ways you're gonna have to use are either like Handbrake, like literally learn how to recompress video or use like Adobe Media Encoder. And you'll also have to learn to recompress video. So I'm trying to keep you out of the weeds with that and just like the fastest, easiest, like dirt cheap workflow that'll get you cruising. So check it out. So I have a project here um, that I made and I'll, uh, this is from a blog post and I'll uh, include the blog post link in the description here so you can uh, watch that if you want. Um, make sure you click and download the source files for this project so you can follow along and test it out. The link's also in the description below. Um, okay, great, let's do this thing. So here's the RAM preview of this thing and I'm like, yes, I wanna post it to Dribble. Now the first thing you have to know has to be 800 by 600. If it's not, it's not gonna work. Now I will say I've tested this and it looks like, and I can't conclusively say it, but it looks like Dribble supports 60 frames a second, which is freaking awesome. Of course, that'll increase your file size. So if you have something long, you'll need to drop your frame rate. Um, so there you go. But here's the deal. So I have this, it's ready to go. It's resized 800 by uh, 600. And I'm just gonna render this out. And I'm gonna leave it at the default After Effects settings. I'm not even gonna mess with it. So I'm just gonna save it here and I'll call it like, large, because it's gonna be a massive file that we're not gonna use. So I'm just gonna render that out. And it's gonna go, it's gonna go, and it renders, awesome. Okay, so now, check this out, what do we have? Let's look at it. So we have this huge file here, and it's even like, the Mac even hates it, you have to convert it, it's like 37 megs, totally not gonna work. And that's what we have. All you have to do is go to File, Export As, and then just choose 720p, it's awesome. And we'll say small, save that, puts it on your desktop. You can close it out. It'll ask you if you want to delete it. You're like, sure. You're just going to delete, delete this file anyway. So now what you have is this looks like the exact same thing. File size is like 831K. So you're good. This thing could be a million times longer, whatever you want. Um, and you've got that going. So again, you just open your file in QuickTime and go file export 720p. But we're not done yet. You think we're done, we're not done. So okay, so say I wanna upload this to Dribbble. I'm gonna to go to my desktop here. And, and by the way, this is if you wanna just make an MP4. Like you don't even have to post to Dribbble. You're just like, dude, I just wanna make an MP4. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna click and drag here. And it says, oh no, dude, Isara hosed you. Error, the file you selected is not a valid type. Valid file types are blah, 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 and MP4. So you're like, I thought this was an MP, like an MPEG-4 or something, and if you start getting weird and you're going into like the uh, like info, you're like looking for data compression, don't even worry about it. Check this out. Click the file name, rename it where it says dot, uh, like MOV, just put MP4, hit return, say, yes, scary pop-up, I totally want to do that. Now, if you click and drag again, boom, you are in business, my friend. So it'll uh, like upload it and it looks like it's nice and slow on my end, which is awesome. Um, but it will, there you go, it's going. And then it's gonna upload this and you are cruising in video, which is great because uh, you know you get sound, the file size is a lot better, you get uh, more colors. So it's just a really, really cool thing to do. So I just wanna share that with you. If you like that, hit subscribe to my channel, like this video, Download the tutorial file, check out my site. I've got a lot more free content for UI animation folks. I also have some pro courses. If you have a project right now that you need to like deliver on, I've got like these lightning fast courses for folks who've never done UI 
animation with After Effects before, or even worked with After Effects. So it's like they're for beginners and you're producing professional work in just a couple hours. It's awesome. Thanks for watching and uh, I will see you in the next tutorial.